Welcome to Discovering. Tonight, a look at some of the unique wonders of the UP. The secret streams that flow beneath the cliffs of colored stone. Forest thick and healthy with birch and pine and oak. Surrounded by the greatest lakes this world has ever known. The black bear's awesome presence as he roams the hills and fields. Call of the timber wolf, the loon's lonesome trill, the eagle soaring high above, the trout lies deep and still. These are what I treasure, the only way I measure, feelings that I have for this fine land. There is so much to discover when you're a long time lover of northern Michigan. Hi, I'm Brian Waitens from the TV show Real Outdoors. Our good friend Buck Lavasser is going to be out for a bit, so I'll be filling in here on Discovering until he returns. Tonight's show marks the 200th episode I've done since I began filling in for Buck back on August 13, 2012. Those 200 shows covered over 400 different topics. All of that is testimony to what we have here in the Upper Peninsula, the diversity we have. Tonight, we'll take a look back at some of the places we've been and the people we've met. The UP is a place where you can hunt, fish, and trap. Ski, snowshoe, and go camping. A place to live off what the land provides. It's a place graced by unique and fascinating individuals, craftsmen and artists. A wide variety of mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Amazing places like the Porcupine Mountains, Mackinac Island, the Keweenaw, and Pictured Rocks. All surrounded by the greatest lakes this world has ever known. The UP is 125 miles wide and 320 miles long. 16,452 square miles with only 19 people per square mile. We are considerably less than half the population of Detroit. 84% of our 10.5 million acres are covered by forest. We are home to over 3,000 miles of groomed snowmobile trails, more than 300 waterfalls, 15 counties, 4 seasons, 2 time zones, and 1 area code. The Upper Peninsula is just that, a peninsula. But I sometimes can't help but think of it as an island. Our own island, made up of a special breed of people of many nationalities living a lifestyle geared to the land we live on. An island with its own very unique places and things to do. A lot of what we do is based on seasons. Of course the four seasons, but also deer season, trout season, yeah. Ooh, yeah. walleye season, bird season, Come on, babe. Hunt them up. turkey season, the camping season, and each season has its own list of unique activities that come to mind. As the calendar flips to September, the colors of fall begin to emerge. Truly one of the most beautiful times of the year here in the UP. Maples and aspens light up the woods like sunshine, and the dress code changes to camel. It's bird season, and hunters across the UP pull the shotguns out of the cabinet and hit the woods in search of grouse and woodcock. Not, it doesn't get any better than this. Out with your dog on a cool fall day, you can't beat it. Come babe. Come on, hunt them up up the birds and finding birds and just being in the woods on a day like this sunshine 55 degrees a little frost in the morning it gets no better than that this is my serenity here in the wonderful outdoors of the UP and whether you're hunting for grouse woodcock or pheasant if you've got a hunting dog I would imagine it's just about the best time of the year to be in the woods this is the way we like to spend our free time especially in the fall you know, 15th rolls around, and you hope, and you think about, oh yeah, let's get to camp, you know, let's go up there. I've got, when are the guys coming up? When, when, uh, I should go pick up my license today, that kind of stuff. And that's, that's all you can ask for. Kids getting out to hunt, being with their fathers, and being with the dogs, being a bird. That's what bird season is about. A bit of fall hunting that many hunters don't take advantage of is the fall turkey hunt. It's also a great time to head outdoors in search of ducks and geese. Oh, it's nice to get out with family and friends and just enjoy, enjoy
enjoy being outdoors. Nice seeing the dog work. It's not always about how many you shoot. As October rolls around, the focus begins to shift to archery deer. For many, it's whitetail hunting at its finest. With the trees in full color and the weather a bit more forgiving, it's a great time to be hanging off the side of a tree, simply enjoying the outdoors. As we move into November, only one thing can come to mind. It's firearm deer season. Pretty much everything normal in the UP ceases to exist, or at least ceases to matter. Deer season is about hunting, of course, but also it's about the outdoors, the woods, family and friends, and stories of seasons past. All of those things and more can best be summed up with two words, deer camp. Deer hunting is not just a tradition, it's, it's a way of life. Families come together at deer camp. Deer camp is almost uh, like your church. It is something that's very sacred to the people that go there. Maybe uh, I had an influence on them watching my show and saying, boy, I want to do that. I want to go to deer camp. You know, I want I want to be a part of it. And I think that's great. I, I'm thrilled about it, to be honest with you. Here we had a deer with it. I mean, she tried to load the, the, the frame. Look at the deer with the battery or no? Oh, electric uh, starter. Yeah, yeah. 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 We had electric starters and we were putting them in the goddamn with their yeah, 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 yeah. No, let me tell you this here. What happened was oh when God. we took it when we took it through the long breath, I mean no, the, no, 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 no. We took the night off and one guy came out. He said, let me see that big deer. Then he went over there. Oh, has he got a big neck full of starters inside? Yeah, oh, that, 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 that. He, he, he took a bucket of Johnson and a dinner, and he, he, he beat them full of starters inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then December rolls in. A cold day would be well below zero. Warm day would be 20 degrees. Thoughts of bucks and rut have faded along with the colors of fall. But that doesn't mean the hunt is over. December means muzzleloader and late archery season for whitetails. Add in the late small game season and you've got plenty of reasons to get in the woods. If you really want to get into the woods, set up camp, build a warm fire and call it home for a few days. Hunting continues well into the winter season. The sound of beagles and shotguns echoing through the woods can only mean one thing, it's rabbit season. Add in some predator hunting and before you know it, spring will be right around the corner. The list of winter activities does not stop at hunting of course. Slap on a pair of snowshoes or cross country skis and set your sights on any of the many groomed trails across the UP. It's a great quiet way to explore the beauty of winter. If you want to add a little speed to the equation, you can always check out one of the many top-notch ski resorts. For something different, instead of a pair of skis, put a dog sled under your feet. And of course, while all this is going on, the opportunities to fish are many. day on a small backcountry lake fishing for bluegills, a dark house in a spear, or a trip to the big water for walleyes or trout. In the UP there's no shortage of places to drop a line through a hole. Chunky. As winter melts away to spring, the landscape is once again filled with new life. The sounds of spring fill the air like music. 
Birds of all kinds are back home and busy with their spring rituals. Nighttime comes alive with a chorus of frogs. Loons join in, calling to one another across the lake. Spring is here and life is good. For hunters, April means it's time to blow the dust off the calls and dig out the decoys. It's turkey season. And of course, springtime means fishing kicks into high gear. A good way to hit the big water is to hook up with one of the many charters on any of the three big lakes. Baby! Smallmouth bass are abundant in rivers and lakes across the UP. Nothing like a smallmouth on a topwater bait. On the Great Lakes as well as inland lakes, walleyes are the favorite of many. Nice walleye. Yeah. The list goes on with perch, bluegills, pike and more. It's a nice silver fish. One of my favorite places to find fish is in the frying pan. Add in some fresh picked morels, and you've got a meal fit for a UP king. And you can't talk about the rivers, streams, and creeks of the UP without thinking about trout. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. Look at the map on his back. Just an utterly beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. That's what the UP is about. The UP is known about brook trout. For a brook trout fisherman, it's like a kid on Christmas morning. Fishing's more than, than going after the fish. It's, it's about being outdoors. It's about, about being out with friends and seeing new countries, seeing new areas, meeting people, and uh, sharing an experience with people. That's really what it's all about. But uh, man, it's just, it's just awesome. Well, little guy just. See this little guy? It's a nice typical German style brown, just a little guy. He was probably in here in the river the whole summer, the whole year. He probably wasn't lake run at all. He just wanted to join in the activities and see if he can't get his groove on with the ladies. People travel hundreds of miles to be able to catch one one specimen like this. Nice little brown. He is a nice little fish. That'd be one, a good one for uh, eggs and hash browns in the morning. Everybody loves a little brown trout and he is anxious to get back in the river so I don't want to make him wait too long. Go back to your home, you little guy. Get a lot bigger so we can catch you later on in life. What drives me to come out here and fish for these fish every fall, all fall long, is when I was a little kid, my dad would take me down to this river and there was one point in time where I actually got to see him catch and land a huge fish. And that embedded something right into my soul that made me want to come back here until I caught a fish like that. This is basically in my genetics. I've been fishing this river my whole life. I have a camp right off this river and it's what I absolutely live for the entire year. The rest of the time, I'm just practicing to become a better brown trout fisherman by catching other fish. But this is what I live for all year long. As spring rolls into summer, the options on the things to do list increase. More fishing, hiking, biking, and of course, camping. Most of us that list has to include some vacation time. There's no shortage of places to visit right here in our own backyard. A visit to the Porcupine Mountains is a must. Step back in time with a trip to Fayette. Slip away for a day or a weekend to Mackinac Island. A trip anywhere in the Keweenaw is never disappointing. Check out Grand Island. 
Or maybe the Blueberry Festival in Paradise. How about a bear ranch? Like watching wildlife? Visit the Sini Wildlife Refuge. If museums are your style, visit the Snowmobile Museum, the Shipwreck Museum, or any of the many museums scattered across the UP. The list goes on and on and on. All of these places and all of these great things to do certainly are part of what makes the Upper Peninsula the greatest place on earth to live. But what makes it the most special place to live is the people. You know, as we get older, the only thing that changes is us. The river don't change. The river is always the same. This is what's so great to be a, a trout fisherman is you can always come out and enjoy the exact thing that you enjoyed when you were younger. But I've done a lot of silly things over the years and uh, you know deer season was one of them. Going out and seeing all of those bucks. Oh, you look in the record book and I can, I can look at a lot of the first place bucks and if they're within the last 30 years, I saw them. I was there and I filmed them. Best part of it. Good lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and a lot of good times. Over there, forget it. Oh, the pie! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 We we Bro, know it. The brownies oh, are oh, sure. Oh. Bang me in the nose, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh. He haven't done most in for the whole works all apart. The bear fell. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to kick like that? I never missed too much. I told my kids when. Uh, my working days are over and my time has come to pass. I don't want any tears. I want you to come up and take a look at me when I'm laying there and say, that old fart never missed too much. <laughs> It's always fun. It's been a passion of mine for ever. You always look at the, the unit there. Where the... She wouldn't let him come out here anymore. <laughs> Boy, I love the world when we were married and we went up. This one here is uh, bad to the bone. George Cyril. Still good. top smoker. And, uh, it only goes once. Really. You just don't want to. More times than not, a uh, bear is going to go after the high energy food source. So in the springtime, uh, the bear is And we guarantee our knives for uh, lifetime. lifetime. My life. This is when he was just a little boy. And to go back to In closing, I'd like to say, after a mere couple hundred shows, Buck, my hat is off to you. I'll leave you with a look at some of the memories of the past couple hundred shows. And what more fitting way to do that than to the original Theme to Discovering. Written and performed by the UP's very own Mark Mitchell. Recorded at White Pine Records in Ishpeming. <laughs> Oh,
secret streams that flow beneath the cliffs of colored stone. The forest thick and healthy with birch and pine and oak, surrounded by the greatest lakes this world has ever known. The black bear's awesome presence as he roams the hills and fields. The call of the timber wolf, the loon's lonesome trill, the eagle soaring high above, the trout lies deep and still. These are what I treasure, the only way I measure, the feelings that I have for this fine land. There is so much to discover. When your long-time lover of Northern Michigan The ghostly silent passing of the white tail in the dawn The silver flashing sand on their yearly spawning run the chorus of the northern geese beneath an autumn sun. The customs and the people from a dozen foreign lands. The years of toil that's written in the faces on their hands. The children's laugh, the women's scream, the courage of the men. These are what I treasure. The only way I measure The feelings that I have for this fine land There is so much to discover When your long-time lover Of northern Michigan